Graduands, welcome to your virtual graduation ceremony. We are now live on YouTube and your ceremony will now begin. Welcome everybody, my name is Professor Nigel Titchener Hooker and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Engineering Sciences here at University College London. It's my honour and indeed it's my privilege to welcome you to the UCL 2021 Virtual Graduation Ceremony. And I'm absolutely delighted to see so many people here, uh, so many graduates from the Department of Mechanical Engineering with us today to enjoy the celebrations. I hope you are here with your friends and family too, so we can all be proud of you as we enjoy the, the, the moment as you move from graduate to graduate. Obviously, it would be much better if we were able to meet you in person, but I hope what we can do is to make uh, this virtual ceremony uh, as very much a memorable event as would have been uh, the actual event if we'd been able to meet in person. We're going to try to do our very best to replicate the experience of our, your graduation ceremony. And we're gonna start off with a short video from our provost, Dr. Michael Spence. And you're then gonna hear speeches from um, Professor Yanis Vantikos, the head of department, and also myself. And at the end of the ceremony, we're going to hear from an alumni about what life uh, is like after you finish your studies here at University College London. But first of all, maybe a little bit of housekeeping. I'm sure all of you are now quite familiar with the way in which these virtual meetings uh, work. Please do feel free to share messages of congratulations in the chat function that's at the bottom of your screen, but perhaps otherwise stay muted um, until such time as your uh, name comes up and we want to uh, applaud you. Great. We're going to be announcing your names in groups. And once your name has been in, in announced, please, uh, Turn on your video so we can see you. And at the end of that group, we're then going to give you a rousing round of applause. And we'll then ask you to turn your camera off and we'll move on to the next group. Before we actually start, sorry, let me introduce the virtual platform party who are going to be with us today to celebrate with you. And uh, you can see them on the your screens. I'm going to introduce each of these people to you one by one and they'd like uh, to say a few words to you uh, as well. So I'm going to start off with Professor Yanis Vantikos. Yanis. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Yanis, Yanis Vantikos. I'm uh, the head of our department, Department of Mechanical Engineering. I presume most of you know me. Uh, you will hear a lot from me, a lot of me today, uh, because I will be naming each one of you and congratulating you. Uh, but uh, I will open the day with a huge, big congratulations to this entire group. Uh, it's fantastic to see you finishing your studies and uh, moving onwards. 
Great, thanks, Yanis. Tom, you're next. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Tom Peach. I think quite a few of you know me, and I've definitely taught a good number of you. It's wonderful to see some familiar names and even some familiar faces as well when I saw some cameras going on. Um, and hello to family and friends of those people as well. And congratulations again to uh, all our students graduating today. Thanks, Tom. Michael. Hello, if I need introduction to our, our graduates, then I have failed in my responsibility. I, uh, I contact you before you join the department, um, welcome you when you get here, and now it's time to say <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> but not for long. Thanks, Michael. Valerie. Um, hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Valerie Govia the Industry Outreach and Business Relationship Administrator. I know, long title, but please don't forget it. Hopefully some of you guys will keep in touch with me when you land your dream job and you come back as an alumni and chat our students up and tell everyone about your fantastic experience. My message to you is congratulations, well done. You're fantastic, you're brilliant. You're gonna change the world, you're gonna help everyone. And I'm so, so proud, all the best. Thanks Valerie. Helga. Hello and welcome everyone. Um, I, I'm Helga, I'm, a robot, I'm the roboticist in the department, one of them. Um, and uh, some of you have even worked with me during the individual projects. And um, today I would like uh, to congratulate you at the end of the ceremony, of course, but um, remind you that today is the day of celebration um, together with your friends and family. And I hope you do this um, um, extensively. Great, thank you, Helga. And last but by no means least, Emma. Hi, all. Uh, I'm Emma Mukavich, Associate Professor of Mechanical Engineering, and uh, I had the pleasure to work with a few of you, uh, not all. Uh, big congratulations. This is such a tough course and such a, a, a demanding program. So, really well done to all of you, and all the best in your future careers. Thank you for the. For and for the uh, platform party. I now declare the ceremony officially open and we're going to hear next from our provost. Hi everyone, I'm Michael Spence, president and provost of UCL. Gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today to your virtual graduation ceremony. And I'd like to offer my wholehearted congratulations to you as you graduate from UCL and move forward to the next stage of your lives. Of course, I speak to many of you dispersed across the world today. We can agree that this situation isn't and hasn't been ideal, and we'd prefer to celebrate in person, but that doesn't diminish your remarkable achievements in any way. The whole UCL community is behind you, and we're in awe of the resilience that you've shown in the face of the challenges posed by the pandemic. Each of you has shown what you can achieve, even under the most trying circumstances. This year marks the 195th anniversary of UCL's founding. We continue to base our principles and beliefs on those of Jeremy Bentham, a commitment to social justice and the availability of education to all. At UCL, we've always believed in changing the world for the better. And as graduates, you'll carry that goal forward. You're a part of UCL's history, but just as importantly of its future too. This is not the end of your UCL journey. You're joining an impressive global alumni community of over 300,000 graduates who support and celebrate each other and who go on to achieve remarkable things around the world. UCL and the alumni community is here for you, not only as you take the next step in your career journey, but for life. So thank you, thank you and congratulations. I look forward to a time when we'll be able to come together in person to further celebrate your amazing achievements. I'm now delighted to introduce Professor Yanis Ventikos, Head of Department for Mechanical Engineering, to present the graduates. Yanis. Thank you, Nigel. I am indeed delighted to present our graduates. Um, I have pleasure in presenting to you these candidates who have been awarded uh, a graduate diploma, Bachelor of Engineering, Postgraduate Diploma, Master of Science, or a Master of Engineering. So let's start. The following candidate has been awarded graduate diploma in Naval Architecture and Marine Engineering. Bilal Maksud. 
Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical. Gerard Juan Becker. Juan Frederick Parimua Rivera Bennett. Da Yu Chen. Wu Xiang Chen. Irina Anna Maria Enache. Richard Gu Gao. Peiji Gao. Chu Jing Gong. Joseph Daniel Hamilton. Jiahe Huang. Hong Wei Huang. Mohammed Keri. Haoyan Li. Shantong Lu. Wadi Madi. Amish Naki. Ali Ahmed Sheriff Noor. Manu Chimzo Samuel Austin Jr. Opara. Bipash Paul. So I'm going to pause here and ask my colleagues to unmute and give a big round of applause to our esteemed graduates. Graduates now, this first group. Fantastic. Now we continue uh, with the following cand candidates who have been awarded a Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical. Mohammed Arik Rahman. Kai Lok So. Ji Long Shung. Ji Jian Hyo. Chenko Natu Junoklu. Luke Robin Williams. Yong Kang Shing. Ling Kong Hao Yao. Wan Sheng Zhang. Yi Heng Chu. Stephen Chu. Cedric Jovigian. Pierre Giuseppe Rivano. I will move on to the Bachelor of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical with Business Finance. Shar Patasoy, Wan Chai, Ravi Chaya, Derin Ilter, Volodymyr Kiselov, Yan Zhang Wong, Lut Chelimker. And again, I will pause and ask my colleagues to unmute and give an equally loud round of applause to this group of esteemed graduates. Hello, everybody. Congratulations. 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 Well done. Great job. We will move now to our postgraduate students. The following candidate has been awarded a postgraduate diploma in mechanical engineering. 
Amina Mohammed Ahmed Mohammed Morsi. Then for Masters of Engineering in Biomaterials and Tissue Engineering, Serena Abdel Fattah, Julia Enrica Maria Amirati, Ahmed Balafrey, Rabab Walayan, Jalan Harani, Yanchi Dai, Mariam Javidan, Shinsu Liang, Melissa Jade Mitchell, Jones Bernadette Pires, Seima Serefioglu, Yu Yuan Shu, Yu Fei Wang. Then I move to Master of Engineering, Master of Science in Engineering with Finance. Mert Arman, Basualdo Al Aslani, Shihan Feng, Yuan Yu Feng, Marcos Kapetanakis, Chen Gai Li. Again, I will stop and ask my colleagues to unmute. I give this group of graduates now a big round of applause. Well done, everybody. Great job, guys. Congratulations from us. So allow me to continue with the following candidates that have been awarded a Master of Science in Engineering with Finance. Golam Hossein uh, Malek Madani, Sophie O'Byrne, Netamon Raktam, Youssef Taya, Tak Shum Tong, Evangelos Rafael Valaris, Patrapon Watanapatunsak, Ji Chao, Zhang Zheng. I will move now to the graduates for the Masters of Engineering, Master of Science in Engineering with Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Andrea Becimveni, Sanditama Bramantika, Lucas Dosnon, Elisa Binti Faisal, Junkit Gan, Jiacheng He. Chikuzirim Adana Ibeabuchi. Yehia Ismail Abdelrahman Ismail. Cheku Juan Luan. Joseph Thomas Minister. Miriam Salah Sheikh Said. Again, I will pause for a minute and give everybody the opportunity to unmute and give a big round of applause to this group of, uh, of graduates. Congratulations, everybody. Well, well Very good job. Very good job. Right. Now we will continue with the following candidates that have been awarded a Master of Science in Engineering with Innovation and Entrepreneurship. Nucha Tani Panichkul. Nile Yavas, Basha Jwain, 
I will continue with students that have been awarded a Master of Science in Marine Engineering. Michael William Thompson. Jin Yang Wu. Yong Chang Shi. I will move on with students that have been awarded a Master's of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Dafer Saleh Al Dosare. Chi Ip Chao. Jonathan Chen. Victor Asivas. Edward Michael Giles Four. Hamza Iqbal. Li Li. Jale Li. Ao Wang. Jian Xiong Xie. Ru Zhang. Chu Yu Chu. Let me move on. Master of Science in Naval Architecture. Henrik Hesetrid Johannesson. Rory Scott Martin. Jong Ping Richard Sung. Again. Time for a big round of applause from everybody. Well done. Well done. So proud of you guys. Well done. Well done. We move on uh, to the students awarded a Master of Science in Power Systems Engineering. Jonathan Michael Thomas Carroll, Hong Jiang Cheng. Bao Hao Gao, Han Lin Li, Zhong Hu Li, Lei Ying Li, Meng Dao Li, Jiabin Liao, Su Yue Liu, Zhong Kai Liu, Chao Sheng Shu, Jing Yue Yao, Fang Gang Chang. I move on now to the students awarded degree, a degree in uh, Master of Engineering in Engineering uh, Mechanical with Business Finance. Eduardo Jaime Buozo. Yin Lei Chen, Ju Ting Cheng, next Master of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical with Year in Industry, Gustavo Piaola Paruquer, Master of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical, Jan Husseini, Jeng Huang, Kevin Warnakula Surilla Fernando. Again, it is time to pause for a minute and ask my colleagues to unmute, give a big round of applause to, our, to this group of esteemed graduates. Well done, everybody. Good job. We continue now uh, with a group of uh, students that have been awarded a Master of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical with Business Finance. Arina al Rokshi, Ragad Mohammed Abdullah Al Jadan, Shamil Amirov, McLean Philip Abade Assis. 
Torek Shiad Abshab Bain Abdul Rahman. Roberto Diaz Juarez. Alexander Fomin. Wei Chen Huang. Shalwan Reza Khan Khan. Carolina Beatriz Martin Domena Para. Ivana Mazzoni. Rohan Krishnan Mohindra. I move on, Master of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical. Ahmed Amir. Mohammed Raihan Ali. Sura Arijay. Adarsha Arial. Aman Aniek Atak. Adash Rahul Bimraika. Jean Clavero. Daniel Edward Corley. Again, time to mute, unmute rather, and give a big round of applause to this group of graduates. Well done, everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, guys. So we continue now. The following candidates have been awarded a Master of Engineering in Engineering Mechanical. Hao Tian Chui, Naomi Katarina Daniels Holgate, Javier Echevaria, Cyrus Sharok Engineer, Yanan Fu. Sayed Taha Haider, Muhammad Daniel Hamdani, Shiwi Li, Yi Chen Li, Sebastian Lindmark, Hasha Vendran Mahendran. Nur Masharia Mortaza, Yujian Ui, Nikesh Kishore Parmar, Prashad Patel, and Keith Fan, Gautam Prakash. Sakusan Puhanendran, Ibad Urahman, Magda Angela Singyorge, Joel Chanda, Yi Ying Tan, Mohammad Mir Jawad Udin. We will now turn to the successful candidates for the degrees of Doctors of Philosophy. As you know, doctoral candidates undertake a program of independent research over at least three years. They must demonstrate a capacity to pursue original thought, original based research and action, and provide a distinct contribution to their subject. A research degree requires total commitment and is at the very pinnacle of academic study. So, I'm very pleased to present to you the following candidates who have been awarded the degree. Doctor of Philosophy in Bioengineering, Dr. Bing Zhang. Doctor of Philosophy in Biomedical Engineering, Dr. Carlos Alberto Ledesma Rondon. Doctor of Philosophy in Fuels and Combustion. Dr. Christopher Chinendo Ogbunuzor. Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical Engineering. 
Dr. Adesile Habib Ajisafe. Dr. Nicolas Bebevelis. Dr. Francesca Donadoni. Dr. Gaia Francetti. Dr. Michael Griesen. Dr. Wen Wen Yu. Dr. Blanca Pena Roncero. Dr. Ashmi Mariam Raju. And Doctor of Philosophy in Mechanical and Sustainable Engineering, Dr. Pei Pei Zhang. And this concludes all of our candidates. Again, I will ask the virtual platform to unmute yourselves and give, please, a big, big round of applause to all of our graduates. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Well, Congratulations. Well, well done. Very well done. Very good. Very good. Congrats, guys. Stuff. Come see us soon. Oh, allow me to say a few words just to mark the occasion. I will be brief. Uh, a day like this, of course, celebrating the finishing of university studies is always a big event in one's life. It's a big milestone for students and it's a big milestone, a big occasion for us too, your teachers. Uh, and the whole department and the whole university, of course. Everyone, you and us together, know very well how difficult it has been um, with the COVID crisis, how much effort you have put to bring your studies to this successful conclusion. So, of course, any mini speech like that must start with a huge well done, big well done deserved here to all of you. It is strange for all of us not to be there in person, but I would like to invite you to contemplate a bit what it means to be graduating as an engineer these days after the experience we've all had with this crisis. Uh, you know, our faculty, the Faculty of Engineering in, um, in UCL has this logo. It reads, change the world, right? It says, change the world. So if we think about this a bit in the light of what has been happening, maybe we need to revisit what the world is asking of us, of you, of uh, the new engineers, the new graduates going out into this world today. You know, this crisis has been eye-opening uh, regarding what the important interventions, the important contributions are. If you think about it, think about what, e what everybody's talking about these days, right? Masks and filters and air purifiers and visors and PPE and emergency medical equipment and ventilators and respirators and high throughput machinery for making drugs and vaccines and computer modeling for the droplets that transmit the disease and building buildings ventilation and the means to send the vaccine to the other side of the world in an organized fashion, keeping it at minus 17 degrees and so on. All these things are import were important anyway before, but uh, they have become more important now in this crisis, and they will be essential in the world that is coming. And all they say engineering, basically. They say mechanical engineering at the front, and this is what we desperately need, what the world desperately needs these days, from you at the end of the day. If anything, the one thing is crying, crying out for is this, give us the people that can make the technology that we so desperately need. Again, this is you. So you, young, brilliant engineers going out there, it's not just a change the world story anymore for you. I'm afraid the mandate from the world at large for you now is save the world. And you can do it. If anybody can, you can. My parting message to you, as always, uh, is that there is no parting message. As Michael said before, we want you to stay in touch. Please tell us what you're doing. Make us feel proud of your achievements in the wide world out there. Uh, congratulations again. Uh, this is a big moment for all of you. It's a big moment for us. Congratulations. Uh, I am now delighted to invite our Dean, Professor Nali Tichner Hooker, give his faculty address. Thank you very much, Yanis. And I must say that uh, it's very difficult to follow from such an impassioned address that Yanis uh, has just given you. And I want to just echo everything that Yanis has said and perhaps just add a little bit of uh, my, my, uh, my words to that as well. So 
first of all, I hope that today is going to remain in your memories forever as a real high point. Um, certainly for me as the Dean of Engineering, uh, graduations are a pinnacle, a real pinnacle. Uh, they represent years of effort, years of focus, of determination, all coming together in that final burst of pride. And it's been lovely to see so many faces uh, on this uh, virtual graduation ceremony today. You should feel proud, um, but I want you to feel a little bit humble too, because yours are degrees from University College London, um, London's Global University. It's from the Faculty of Engineering Sciences, one of the world's very top faculties in a top university. And your department is an absolute powerhouse of innovation and really crucially of translation into practice because without translation into practice um, we don't have engineering and that's what you've learned all about and what you've become real exemplars of. Your faculty is the biggest, the most uh, financially uh, vibrant and strongest performer of all the faculties at University College London um, and we contribute to the future of this really prestigious university. So you should be incredibly proud uh, of that. And proud because I think you are, as graduates, an essential part of that formula formulation as well. Now, you know, this last year has been a pretty momentous one, uh, pretty un uh, unprecedented too. Um, and I feel very humbled by the way in which each of you individually and collectively have risen to the many challenges that the, co that the COVID pandemic has presented uh, to us. You've studied remotely in many instances, you've been in isolation, and generally you've been away from friends, colleagues, um, and that infrastructure, that ethos, that feeling of being part of a community that is so important to uh, any degree programme. Your efforts to, to maintain that collegial spirit have been very self-evident in mechanical engineering, uh, and I think that really characterises so much that's so important uh, about your department and this faculty. The programmes from which you're graduating are recognised across the world uh, for the pioneering uh, work they represent. We're real innovators in terms of education and uh, I think you know, others look to uh, University College London increasingly to see how to do research, how to do research that has impact and education that creates engineers for the future um, as real uh, global leaders. Our efforts in engineering are recognised nationally and globally through awards, um, but I think the most important thing, and which Yanis has actually touched upon, is that you are the product of that um, engineering ethos. You have now mechanical engineering from UCL in the DNA, your very fabric of your beings. So we want you to shape the world for the future, because as Yanis has said, the future of the world really does depend on graduates such as yourselves. One thing I was just going to touch upon is that it's been over 100 years now since the end of women's suffrage, and um, whilst in our faculty we now have over a third of our um, graduates are women, we need to do very much more in that space. And I'm looking to all of you to help uh, us in that endeavour. We do a huge amount in terms of outreach, about 6,000 um, people each year in London and more broadly across the United Kingdom are impacted by the work we do, particularly in the age of 15 to uh, 5 to 19 year olds rather. Um, and we do that on a straight 50-50 gender basis. And I think that's really important. We need to make sure that we continue to work tirelessly to encourage women to apply to become engineers um, and to realize their full potential with us. Each year we uh, see staff achieve national recognition, be that through the form of national honors. Um, and this year, um, uh, Becky Shipley, one of your professors received a, a New Year's honors in recognition of the work she did in terms of the, of the COVID pandemic and the design of the um, delivery of CPAP. The other thing that happens each year around this time is the election of Royal Academy Fellows. And uh, that was a Royal Academy that was initiated by the late uh, Duke of Edinburgh. This year we had four new fellows in our faculty, three of whom were women, and the fourth was our very own Janos Ventikos. And uh, he became a fe fellow officially last night. And so that's uh, an absolute pinnacle in terms of um, uh, his career. And, and I think you know it also is something for us to look toward um, and particularly the number of females that, uh, fellows now for the Royal Academy as real um, exemplars and role models for women engineers. 
So what else has happened in this year? And again, Yanis has mentioned this, um, the, the efforts and the work done in responding to COVID uh, in terms of the pandemic have probably been uh, no more um, accentuated and more um, um, important than at University College London, both in terms of the work we've done in terms of uh, the design of ventilators and work we've done on understanding aerosol uh, deposition, but also, as Yanis has said, through provision of vaccines at global scale. And that's going to be a challenge for the future uh, if uh, we are to face future pandemics, which is almost uh, inevitable. So the rate of innovation and the rate of success is truly relentless. Let me though leave you with a, a few thoughts. Um, so my feeling is that no matter where your careers take you, um, I hope that it will be a journey of partnership. Partnership between you, your colleagues you've met during your programs here in mechanical engineering at UCL, but also the broader community that UCL represents. There's been a fantastic partnership between the staff who attracted you to come to UCL in the first place, the people who have helped in terms of the professional services and the technical staff in supporting you during your studies and will now support you as you become alumni of this illustrious university. We want to hear about what you're doing in your careers, and we want to share with you our successes in the future. This is a partnership uh, for the future and for the, for the benefit of all. Certainly, you're going to emerge into a world which is very much less certain than perhaps it was um, um, a number of years back. But I think of one thing you can be really confident, it is that your degree from University College London is the passport you need for success. Do keep in touch, uh, and as we will in turn keep in touch with you about what we're doing, what our plans are, and as we move forward to successive uh, graduates uh, in the future. I think the most important thing for you, though, is to do exactly as Yanis has said, which is, as engineers, is to realise your full potential, to live up to what you have been given in terms of the capacity to change the world for the better. But for today, for today I think the really important thing is to feel proud, um, to really celebrate with all the friends and family and people who have supported you on this journey, cherish the moment uh, and uh, look to the future and above all, stay safe. Thank you. So as the Dean of the Faculty, um, we've now got to that point where I can officially confirm you have transferred or translated from graduands, which is a word I hadn't heard of until a few years ago, through to graduates. You're now officially graduates, um, and we can officially confirm uh, and confer your degrees from University College London. Well done, um, fantastic achievement, and make the most of it. We're going to take a few moments now to listen to a recorded video from an alumni. Um, Mark Proctor is somebody actually I had the pleasure of teaching uh, when he completed a master's in biochemical engineering at University College London in 2002. And what you're going to hear is how Mark, who is currently a general manager at AstraZeneca's vaccine R&D and operations site in Liverpool here in the United Kingdom, about how um, he views his degree and his role as an engineer. He's a fellow of the Institution of Chemical Engineers. He holds a master's in biochemical engineering here from UCL. And he also has an executive MBA from Bayes with the Formula Cass Business School. And he started his career in a small consultancy um, firm, Biofarm Services, and uh, since then has moved on to a series of positions in uh, R&D and supply chain strategy and operational management uh, since joining AstraZeneca back in 2009. And in 2020, uh, he joined the Oxford AstraZeneca team looking at the global supply and strategy as the senior director responsible for the setup introduction and long-term supply of COVID vaccines, uh, both in the UK and internationally. And that work led to his national recognition with a, a CBE in the Queen's birthday honours in 2021. So I'm now going to ask the party to, to listen to the video from Mark Proctor. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mark Proctor. I studied biochemical engineering at the Faculty of Engineering Sciences, graduating in 2002. First of all, I'd like to congratulate all of you on graduating this year. What a fantastic achievement. You should all be incredibly proud of reaching this important milestone and having great knowledge you're graduating from this excellent faculty and one of the world's very best universities. Now there is of course absolutely no doubt that the global pandemic has an unprecedented impact on our way of life 
And I can only imagine how different it must have been for all of you to spend so much of your time at university learning remotely. I still remember very fondly the time I spent at UCL learning about engineering and about life while living in London, so well done for staying the course. When I left UCL, I went to work for a small consultancy company and a few years later I joined AstraZeneca. Now at AstraZeneca I've held several different roles across research and development, operations, strategy and supply chain. I also took the time out to go back to school and study for an exec MBA. Looking back to when I was at university, I never expected there to be a global pandemic like this. I could never have predicted that one day I would be asked to play a key leadership role in our fight against it. Now, it is definitely through my professional experiences, but more importantly, it was through the foundations that I built at UCL that I was able to contribute to the UK and our global response to COVID. Now, what advice would I give to my former self if I were graduating today? I guess, first of all, I would encourage myself to really build and maintain networks, be it friends, peers, colleagues, faculty or alumni. I should never underestimate the importance of a good network. And although I would work through a meritocracy, I would need really good sponsors and allies through my career in order to be able to progress. I guess second, I would then tell myself to seize every opportunity to explore different roles, countries and cultures. I've been really fortunate in my career to travel and lead teams globally and I've learned so much through it and enjoyed every minute of it. And I guess finally, I would tell myself to take risk and believe in myself. When you leave this great institution, you'll have gained significant academic and life skills. Combine this with some confidence, a healthy appetite to take risk and you can only succeed. Now bringing this all back to you, it's your day, congratulations once again please do take the time to really celebrate this great achievement and well done again. So before I close the ceremony, I think we should do a couple of things. First of all, I think everybody should uh, unmute and as many people come back on camera as they can. And let's have one enormous final round of applause. Hey guys. <laughs> Well done. What, what, what? Fantastic. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, and most importantly, graduates, uh, that actually concludes our virtual graduation ceremony. In a few moments, I'm going to um, cease uh, talking, and there'll be a, a short video, and that will then mark the end of the, of the uh, ceremony. But this, as a number of people have said, this should not mark the end of our uh, relationship uh, with each and every one of you. Uh, this should be the start of a set of new journeys. So we're looking very much forward to uh, keeping in touch. And actually, we're looking forward to seeing you uh, on campus because the campus is back open and it'd be lovely to, to be able to see you and to congratulate you each in person. So I offer you my wholehearted congratulations and my very best wishes uh, for the future. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>